This is Pastor Fraser from the Goshen Seventh-day Adventist Church, located at 8221 South State Street, Chicago, Illinois. We're a church that loves people, welcome people. We want to invite you to come and share the blessings of God with us. Welcome to Goshen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We've come to give God glory. We've come to lift up his name. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the very same. He is sovereign and he is worthy. Come on, let's lift up this praise to our king. Come on, we're going to sing it together. Hey, sing oh, 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 oh. Sing oh, oh. And oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Clap your hands in a row. Hey, yeah. Oh, come on, let's sing together. Sing out how great, how great is our God. Is our God. Just sing with, sing with me.
belongs to you. Come on, church, raise that one voice. Sing my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. To you and only you, Lord, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Listen. You're a healer. You're a healer. You're a healer. You're a healer. Come on, let's call on our healer. You're a healer. You're a healer. We still believe you're a healer. We still believe you're a healer. We worship you, our healer. to him sing my hallelujah my hallelujah belongs to give God praise this day for all that he has done for us. We want to welcome him into our presence and we are so grateful for his love and for his mercy and for his goodness. I want to invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray before we go into a short word a word of encouragement, and a word of hope for such a time as this. Father in heaven, we ask that you will come into our midst. We ask, O God, that you will strengthen us, give us courage, give us faith, give us what we need to make it through this difficult time. We thank you, Father, for your love towards us and your grace. Thank you for your son. Thank you for all that you have done for us. And we pray, Father, that as we share this word today, that you would hide me behind your cross and that you will speak loud, speak clearly. Through me, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to consider... For a brief moment, the topic singing the Lord's song in a strange land. The text is taken from Psalms 137, reading from verses 1 through 7. The Bible says, by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down, yet we wept when we remember Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For there those who carried us away captive asked for a song. And those who plundered us requested mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? 
If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, the day of Jerusalem, who said, Razit, Razit, to this very foundation. The Bible declares, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? I declare today that we are living in a time of strange perplexities, a time when things are ever-changing, a time when we are captive even in our own homes by the coronavirus. And so we ask ourselves, how can we get through this time? How can we move forward looking forward to the blessed hope of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, I declare today from David's psalm, the question was asked, the Israelites asked this same question because they were captive in the land of Babylon. They have been uprooted from their homes, their synagogues, and their customs, and their cultures. They have been captive and removed by force to Babylon. These people went through a, a series of depression. They felt depressed. They felt discouraged. They felt alienated. They felt lonely. They felt homesick. And the Bible declares that they wept when they remember from whence they came. They wept when they remembered Zion. I hope you can get the picture. The Israelites are captive and they're in deep despondency. The tears are flowing down their faces and they remember way back to their hometown when they were in Judah. They remember the once glorious temple. They remember the ash heaps. They, they remember the holy city which by now was utterly laid waste. They were homesick because they missed their families and they missed their surroundings. When I think about this, I think about those who are right now have to quarantine themselves in their very home and missing their families and their surroundings. I, I declare that they probably feel lonely. Some of them probably feel depressed. Some of them probably feel discouraged. They feel a little anxiety because they don't know what tomorrow will bring. And so when we feel alienated, we, we feel as if everyone has given up on us. We feel as if we have no hope for the future. But I can understand, I can understand how the Israelite felt because of what we're dealing with, because of what we're going through now. But I just want to encourage you for a few moments. I want to encourage you that even though we are going through difficult times, even though circumstances seem moving at such a rapid pace and we don't know how we're going to make it through, I declare that you and I can still sing the Lord's song even as we are going through difficult times. We ask the question, how, how can I sing the Lord's song under these circumstances? Uh, no one feels like singing when they're going through difficult times. No one feels like singing when they're sad or, or they're homesick. The captive, they were miserable. And so what they did is that they hung their instruments, they hung their harps on the willow tree, and they refused to sing because they felt that it was inappropriate to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. I, I saw, I saw this, this uh, uh, video, and they were sharing how the folks went into Walmart. And because of all of the issues that we're going through now with the coronavirus, the, they 
were in Walmart in a strange place and they start to sing praises to God. You see, when you're going through difficult times, when you're in a strange territory, dealing with a strange things, when you're in a strange environment, instead of hanging your harps, it's time to sing praises to God because when we sing praises to God, it's the moment that that very moment is when God starts to move and when God starts to bring us out of our difficult situation. So right now is the time to start singing. Right now is the time to start praising God. It is not time to hang our harps on a willow tree. It's not time to forget from whence we came. It's not time to forget that we serve a risen Savior who is in the world today, who is concerned about what we are going through. It's time to sing the Lord's song, even if we're in a stranger land. It's time to give God praise, even if we feel homesick. I don't know about you today, but I feel homesick for my heavenly home because we are going through so much different circumstances. But I know I cannot be despaired. You and I cannot be despaired. We have got to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help comes from the Lord who makes heaven and earth. This is not the time to stop singing. It's time for God's children to sing. It's time for God's children to pray. It's time for God's children to look up because our redemption is drawing air. The Bible declares, how can we sing? How can we sing the Lord's song in the strange land? I believe that the Israelites, they should have sung even though they felt that they were in a strange land. I believe that it was an excellent opportunity for them to witness the power of God. I believe that if they had sung, perhaps someone's heart would have been touched. If they had sung, perhaps some life might have been changed. If they had sung, perhaps some soul might have been saved. Uh, if they had sung, perhaps someone might have gotten their joy back. Someone might have found healing. If they had sung, they refused to sing because of their situation, because of their circumstances. And the Bible declares in James chapter 5 verse 13 that if anyone among you is suffering, let them pray. If anyone among you is cheerful, let him sing psalms. What James is declaring that we ought to sing when we are cheerful. We ought to pray when we are suffering. And this time, our nation should be praying. This time, our nation, instead of worrying about the virus, we ought to be praying to our living God. We ought to be calling God to, to intervene in our circumstances, intervene in our situation. We ought to look for opportunities to, to, to let God's light shine even in this dark world, even at this dark time, even in this circumstances. Yes, I believe that we should sing. I believe that Babylon should have sung, even if they were in a strange land, because, because a child of God should not allow difficult circumstances to stop them from singing God's praise and witnessing his power. A child, a Christian, should never hung their hearts on a willow tree of despair and disappointment. I want to tell you three things that I'm going to sit down. Three things that I want you to know firstly, if, if, if you and I are going to make it through these evil days, if you and I are going to make it through difficult circumstances, we have got to sing the Lord's song. 
when we remember where we came from. You see, we've got to remember where we came from. When we remember where we came from, where God has brought us from, it will give us pause to sing. It will give us cause to sing. We are people of God. We are children of the King. And I'm so glad to be a member of God's royal family. And because we are a member of God's royal family, because we know God for ourselves, we know that God is able to keep us. God is able to protect us. God is able to get us through any difficult circumstances. So in order to sing the Lord's song, we have got to remember who we are and where we came from. Second thing I want you to remember is that we've got to remember who he is, who God is. We serve a creator and a redeemer. We serve someone who is never asleep. We serve, a, he's a mighty rock in a, in a weary land. He is a cooling shade on a burning sand. He is my faithful guide uh, for the pilgrim's band. He is a shelter in the time of our storm. And I declare that this is a time of storm. And you have got to remember who he is, that he is a shelter in the time of our storm. You got to remember that under his wings, we can safely abide. Yes, he is our redeemer. Yes, he is our savior. He is the same God who rescued the Hebrew boys from the burning fiery furnace. And he is the same God who is going to rescue us from this current situation. We have to remember that we serve a God who was able to shut the lion's mouth and let Daniel go free. We need to remember who he is. And as a result, we ought to praise him for his greatness. Praise him for his goodness and praise him for his glory. The third thing that we ought to remember, yeah, we can sing the Lord's song if we remember to have faith in his abilities. Not our abilities. Not the abilities of the CDC. Not the abilities of the medical doctors, not the abilities in the president, but the ability in our God. We have got to remember to have faith in his abilities, put our confidence in him. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, but without faith is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him every day. We ought to have faith in God. Every day we have to put our trust completely in God. And when we put our trust completely in God, we would put our faith into action. You see, God, God is a God who knows and understands, and he's a God that can be delivered, that can deliver, but we must put our faith in him. How can we sing this Lord's song? The say in a strange land. Remember, who he is. We got to remember who we are and where we came from. And third, we have got to have faith in his abilities. When we have faith in his abilities, we can put our trust in him. We can sing again. We can, we can have faith again. We can trust him again. Oh, when you're feeling lonely and forsaken, you can sing, you can sing the song, never alone, no, never alone. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. The slave, they sang. It was singing that got them through their slavery. They sang, I've got shoes, you've got shoes. All God's children has got shoes. It was singing that got them through. And I declare that it's singing praises to God that is going to get us through 
when your burdens get so heavy and they seem almost overwhelming and unbearable, you can sing, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. You can sing the song, burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus completely saves. When you feel the need of assurance of your salvation, you can sing the song, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here of salvation, purchased of God, born of a spirit, washed in his blood. When you feel, my friends, despondent and you feel disappointed, you can sing the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Prayer. When you feel fair and insecure, you can sing, be not dismayed, whatever betide. God will take care of you. You can sing the Lord's song even when you're going through a difficult situation. You can sing the Lord's song even when you're going through the valley of the shadow of death. When you feel as if you're about to die. When you feel as if you're going to the valley of the shadow of death. You can sing, I rise again because death can't keep me in the ground. I'm so glad that there's a song for every life. There's a song for every season. And there's a song for every situation that you are going through, that we are going through. You can find a song to get you through. If you can't find a song, you can look to the word of God. Because in his word, every, every phrase Every line is a song for you. It can cheer you up. It can give you a new day. My friends, I declare, let us keep on singing. Let us keep on praising God. Let us keep on witnessing for him. Let us keep on serving him because we are almost home. We are almost home. Even though it seems dark and drear, we are almost home. Home, so keep on singing. Be encouraged because when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout, victory, victory, victory. We are almost home. I declare that we're near and home. See the splendor gleaming from the dooms afar. See the glory streaming through the gates ajar. There will soon will enter, never more to roam. Hear the angels singing, we are nearing home. We are nearing home. Brothers and sisters, time is running out. We're almost home. Jesus is about to come as we go through these difficult times. I want to encourage you to make sure that your calling and election is sure with God. Make sure that you know for surety that your salvation is wrapped up in him. Make sure that if you go to sleep, you're going to sleep in Jesus and one day soon, when Jesus comes, he'll wake you up and you go home to spend ceaseless ages of eternity with him. We can sing the Lord's song even in a strange land. It's not time to stop singing. Now it's time to sing. Sing the Lord's song. It will get you through difficult situation. Give God praise. When you praise him, it will get you through these terrible times. May God bless you as you keep singing the Lord's song in a strange land.
Let us pray. Father, I just want to thank you that we can still give you praise. We can still sing, even though the world seems to be closing in on us. Even though, God, we are at a time when there is so much uncertainty. Father, help us to remember to sing the Lord's song. Oh God, I pray your blood on every one of your children. I pray, Father, your arms of protection will hold us and keep us. I pray, God, for a miracle. A miracle that will put an end to this virus. Father, whatever your will is, I pray that it will be, it will be done in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. And I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Remember, keep on singing. Life is affording us different challenges. And even though we're not meeting in person, we still want to invite you to participate with God and give liberally to the cause that God has called us to give to. And that cause is for his work to go into all the world. The gospel must be preached in all the world. And the way we do this at Goshen is by, uh, by collecting a liberal offering, tithe and offering. The one thing that God asks us to do is to give liberally. And we ought to give to the cause and the work of God. The Bible declares that bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat or food in my house. And God says, prove me now. Here it says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room to receive it. Uh, I don't know about you, but we all have some more room to receive blessings from God. But what I wanna invite you to do right now is to take your cell phones and go to AdventistGiving.org. And there, when you go to Adventist Giving, you will be able to give to this church. Or you just go to our website, GoshenSDA.com. When you plug in our website, go and give, click on give, and the button will drop down. You'll have a drop down menu there you'll be able to give. There are many ways that we can give at Goshen, but right now the only way we are taking and the only way we can receive donations is through this means, through our website, GoshenSDA.com, and give to the cause of God. God loves a cheerful giver. God bless you as we give together. Come on, we will leave, we serve a God who reigns over everything. We've come to put our love on Him today. Oh, yeah, yeah. You reign, you reign, you reign, Lord. You reign, you reign, you reign, Lord. Come on, let's sing this together. Sing, my God reigns. My God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Sing, Lord, you reign. Sing it again, sing my God reigns. My God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Sing Lord to reign. Thank you.
Goshen Seventh-day Adventist Church wants to thank you for worshiping with us and for joining us. We're so glad that you choose this place to worship. And we want to pray that God will richly bless you. Remember, we're located at 8221 South State Street, Chicago, Illinois. Join us also on the web. Our website is GoshenSDA.com. Looking forward to see you on the web or see you in person at Goshen.